The Francois de Ganet handicap hurdle is next to group three. Over two miles and three furlongs. Building bridges and it's a game of inches at the top four. Joshua Sutherland, Volcanic Impact. Leon van Rensburg, St. Nicholas at Wade. Darren Thompson, Highland Quest, Martin Lidham, Morland's Dimension, James Shager, Broner, John Morgan, Baltic Sunrise. For Graham Clutterbuck, Clue Lara, Martin Lidham, Clan, Graham Clutterbuck, Hermits Return, Darren Thompson, Beach Day, David Hooley, City Paradigm for Jim Murray, Ancient Kelly, Adam Old, Fort Lauderdale, Jim Murray, Samba, Matt Cooper, Midway Figure and Dollar Bell, Alex Cherry and Takabi complaining for Derek Hinton. Huge field for this. And away and racing. And into the first flight. They only just about enough room to get them all on the course. And it's a game of inches. We'll lead them into the next. And they're all safely over that. I saw a couple of fallers in an earlier hurdle race, so these hurdles take a bit more jumping maybe than the regulation ones back in Britain, but it's Ancient Cayley who's gone off into the lead. They get over the third. Wrong building bridges in second. And then more as Dimension Baltic Sunrise is also close up. Highland Quest in the purple and white stripes as they take this funny little double. Safely over that one with Volcanic Impact, the early back marker for Leon van Rensburg. And it's Ancient Kelly for Adam Old in the lead. Clear by five to Building Bridges in second. In the pale blue jacket of Gabrona, just about showing third. The dark green of Morland's Dimension for James Shea. And closest to us on this turn, you can see Jim Morris horse with the red sleeves is Fort Lauderdale, just ahead of that one. We've got Baltic Sunrise for Graham Clutterbuck. As they get over the sixth, which they're all safely over. St. Nicholas at Wade, the new back marker, as they head to number eight, number seven, sorry, of the 16. And they're all safely over that one with Ancient Kaylee and Lara on the inside. Definitely seems to be a lack of grays around this season. Another big field here, 19 or so, isn't it? And only holding along in front. A good four lengths clear of Gabrona in second. As I mentioned, on that one's inside Highland Quest, who's a course and distance winner, run, a, run over this course and trip at the back end of last season. It wasn't this race, it was the race in the meeting at the end of the season. And I think that was a group three as well. So it's Ancient Kelly who's in the lead then over number nine. From Gabrona in second, and then building bridges and it's a game of inches, Highland Quest and Baltic Sunrise, and Volcanic Impact getting a bit closer. The group is a couple of lengths ahead of the rest of them. Right, just about headed by City Paradigm and Clune Lara the Great. In Fort Lauderdale and Samba. With Beach Day on their outside. St. Nicholas at Wade getting a bit closer. Then Clown. The Hermits return on the inside as they take the 10th. Right towards the back are Midway Figure, Takabi Complaining and Dollar Bell. They've only got six furlongs to go. And they get over the 11th. Ancient Kaylee is in the lead still. And the one has been really driven up around the outside now is Fort Lauderdale. That one's come through to challenge for second as they get over the 12th and has now come through to take it up. So Fort Lauderdale on the outside is just about in front from Ancient Kaylee on the inside. Second, then Mourner's Dimension and Baltic Sunrise Island Quest is after that one. Volcanic Impact is sneaking up the inside. He's going to get a clear run through there. Clune Lara is now getting into the race as well so to beach day there's plenty of chances only three and a half furlongs to go and only a couple of flights to get over when they get around this turn and now all of a sudden volcanic impact has burst into the lead from ancient county sticking on well on the inside fort lauderdale beach day it's a game of inches highland quest city parade paradigm and clue lara still there as well and they're queuing up behind these leaders to come and challenge over the second last they go and now in the lead is just beach day fort lauderdale volcanic impact clue lara the gray throwing down a big challenge on the outside they're coming down towards the final flight and over it they go and it's beach day who landed in front from clune lara who's moved into second then four lord of our volcanic impact there's less than a furlong to go and it's beach day who's well clear beach day's well clear of clune lara who's trying to close in second but isn't going to get close enough and it's going to be beach day that takes it with david hooley clune lara second whom it's returned four lord of our moorland's dimension in ancient gaily who's stuck on well all the way back to dollar bell we lost gabrona in the straight and David Hooley definitely has a claim to be the top hurdling trainer, I think. Almost as well in these hurdle races and took that one pretty comfortably. So beach day for David Hooley, the winner. A good five lengths. Clune Lara second for Martin Little Hermits returned. Darren Thompson was third. Fort Lauderdale Jim Murray was fourth. 
and Moreland's Dimension for James Shea was fifth.